Hi right, guys, this is the Fairmax Guy for 081. I'm at the Main Street Road Crossing in uh, Gold Hill near Virginia City. This is a very nice road crossing and since there ain't no train coming yet, I'm gonna do a tour of it. So this is actually a WRS cantilever, not a Federal Signals cantilever. Safe train bracket. Safe train incandescent 12 by 24 inch lights. The overhead lights are also safe train 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights on a safe train bracket. And the signal on the other side is pretty much the same, but it doesn't have a bell. So the gated mast has a new product space. Um, safe train gate mechanism I'm not sure what kinds of gate lights those are uh, they're unmarked mm-hmm and the bell I'm guessing it's a federal signals mechanical bell or a WRS I I really can't tell but if you can make out what that says, please comment down below. I'd, I'd really love to know what that says. And I'm not gonna do a tour of that signal because as I said, it's pretty much the same thing as this signal, except it doesn't have a bell. So yeah, let's wait for the train. So there it goes guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hi guys, this is Fairmax Fan for 081, and here comes the same train.
Hi guys, this is Fairmax Fan for 081. I'm at the F and G Street uh, intersection railroad crossing. Uh, this crossing is in Virginia City, and it doesn't have to anything too special except for this WCH mechanical bell. The train will be coming shortly. This is the oldest continually operating hotel in the state of Nevada. It opened in 1859 as a tent saloon. The stone hotel portion you see up front was built two years later in 1861. Still in business today, just as it was in 1859, are the original owners of that hotel are still dead. The Bridgefoot building with the three steel doors on the front of it at one time was the Bank of California. This area of Gold Hill was known as the Maynard Block, one of the cash and stock exchange areas along the Comstock Road. There were days when up to a million dollars would exchange hands in cash and mining stock right on that very street. Now coming around the curve to the great crossing off the east side, you'll see the monument to the Liberty Volunteer Fire Company. Now these were the brave volunteer firefighters that protected Gold Hill from fires in the mines and the desert. The monument is located right where the original fire hall once stood, just next to the railroad tracks. The original fire hall, well, it burned up in a fire. Crossing is the 1869 station of Virginia Truckee Railroad, built for the town of Gold Hill. The VT Railroad owned and operated this railroad station from 1869 until the line to Virginia City was abandoned in 1938. At that time, the railroad sold the station and all the property around it to Story County, Nevada, for the sum of $1. Now coming up on the west side of the train, up on that bluff, you'll see the remains of the North Yellow Jacket shaft. Now a little bit about how it all worked, folks. That large tower you see up on the hill is called the head frame. That's what was used to hoist the oil from the depths of large steel buckets. Guys, this is for Max Man for 081. So we're passing the Virginia and Truckee Railroad train and the FNG Street intersection railroad crossing. Now, folks, we're approaching our shop grade crossing. This is the little road we drive across to get into our workshop and restoration shop. Once we reach this grade crossing, if you look off the east side of the train up, coming toward the locomotive end. You can see our new Virginia City Fairgrounds. They opened these about two years ago. We've had some in the summer months. In September, we host the world-famous cattle and ostrich races right in this arena. Lots of fun for the weekend. 
hope you folks can come up and join us for those. Now they do have to bring the animals up a few days early to get used to the altitude and the climate up here. The ostriches come up on Monday. Camels come up a couple days later. They bring them up on hump day. Now as we clear this little bluff off the east side, you get a glimpse out Six Mile Canyon, way out of those Carson Plains. It was out on those Carson Plains, and it... And directly in front of our train is one of the most beautiful Catholic churches in the United States. was built in 1876, right after the Great Fire that nearly destroyed almost all of the New City. Folks, that church was paid for completely, all material and labor, by an Irish Catholic immigrant who crossed the ocean to seek his folks from a Comstock, one of the few who actually won. His name was John Mackey. John Mackey went on to become one of the greatest philanthropists in all of our history. He's the man who paid for the first transatlantic cable that went to the United States with the European nation. Okay, we just arrived at the depot, so... We're approaching the Virginia City Station, folks. I do ask you to remain seated until the train does come to a complete stop. I do hope you folks have enjoyed your trip. Hi guys, this is Jeremy Sam for 081. I'm at the FNG Street uh, Railroad Crossing. Uh, and before the train comes, I'm gonna do a tour of the crossing. So, this one has Harmon base, Harmon light frames, and a Harmon bracket. And I assume the LED lights uh, retrofitted in the light frames are Harmon dotted LEDs. That signal with the bell has um, the same thing as um, this one, uh, and the bell is a WCH mechanical bell, as I said before. This signal has a USNS space, a WRS bracket, and a WCH incandescent. Hi guys, this is Fairmax Time for 081. I'm back at the Main Street Row crossing in Gold Hill, and here comes the train.
So there it goes guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hi guys, this is Fairmax fan for 081, and here comes the train again. This will also be my last video for the day.